Hey everyone, so I'm trying to do a review on these refillable Nespresso um, little cups, pods, or whatever you want to call them. I'm trying to find the best angle. I don't have a tripod. I don't know what I did with it. So I'm going to try to do the video the best as possible. Um, the point of this video is to show you how dark, to me, when I am going to... Um, brew my Nespresso coffee. I want to see how dark it is. Uh, I do care a little bit about the crema, but not like, oh my gosh, like so many people. There's a lot of people that are like serious crema. I'm more of a foam person with the milk, so I really, really love this um, milk steamer. It is awesome. So anyways, but um, in the beginning, I did get the Nespresso um, cups, but uh, I drink a lot of coffee and I do have people that come over and drink a lot of coffee, so that is kind of expensive for me. I did also try another brand, I think it's called Rico. It, it was okay. Um, it, I wasn't like, oh my gosh, I love this coffee. I am used to the Starbucks Barista. Um, this video is going to be a little long, so I do apologize. You can forward to the part where I start brewing the coffee if you would like. But yeah, I used to use the Starbucks Barista and I used to make my coffee really strong with the Colombian Fojas coffee and that was good for me. So I did try originally this coffee. So I'll show you what I did so you can see the difference in all these. In the beginning when I first got the cup, I'm like, okay, cool. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and put the coffee in here as best as I can. And I try to tap it down as best as I can with the little um, scoop that it came with. So that's what I did, right? And I clean it up, close it up. Okay, I'm gonna brew it. So that's our first one, right? Okay, let me look here at the camera. So definitely no crema at all, and you can't see, it looks a little bit darker on camera, but this is, um, this looks like to me like a, a little bit darker than your regular sweet tea. That's not dark enough for me. So, um, I'll go ahead and try another method that I am doing now with an espresso coffee that I bought. So I started using a cork, um, a wine cork. Okay, I got cut off there. I ran out of space. Anyways, I went ahead and brewed another cup of the Folgers uh, medium dark and I did um, tap it down as much as I could. As you can see, there was no crema and they're pretty much the same. There was no difference. So then, um, I uh, bought an espresso um, Spanish coffee and I think it was um, Bustelo I'm not sure so let's see if that made a difference so I did fill this up and I um, press it down with my uh, wine cork and this is the Bustelo espresso Once I um, did this, I felt like, wow, I'm back to my coffee the way I like it. Um, see, there it is. There's the uh, crema, and it's dark. So, I am curious, though. There's one thing that I didn't try. I wanted to try to see how dark and if we would get crema if I don't use the wine cork. If I don't use a lot of pressure, if just I'm um, filling it with this and pushing down with this is good enough. So, and obviously espresso is finer than the this one that I had over here with the folders. So I'm really um really excited to try different espresso brands to see which one is my favorite. So for now, I do enjoy the Bustelo. But there's many, many other ones that I would like to try. Um, so yeah. If I do try any and I 
really love them, then I guess I can post another video about it, sharing with you guys what it, my thoughts on the coffees are. Okay, so here it is. I only used a little scoop, which is very hard to actually, um, oh, and uh, also it doesn't get stuck. And I, I do know that you see, can you guys see this little point where the lid opens? You want that facing up. So I do like that. And like that. And let's see if it makes crema. So it did make crema without having to use the um, wine cork pressing it down after every scoop. It did do it. Here it is. And I want to say that this one, the one that I did use the wine cork to press down to compact it, it does seem darker than the one that I just brewed. Well, anyways, guys, um, so in the beginning, when I first got these cups, refillable cups, I did want to return it because I did try my Colombian Folgers Dark Medium, and it was terrible. I didn't like it. So then I said, you know what? Maybe I need to buy an actual espresso coffee. And that's what I did, and now I really enjoy it, and it's a really good deal. I feel like it's a good deal. I think I paid $18 free shipping for six refillable cups, so that's pretty good. And I got free shipping because um, of Amazon Prime. So uh, I will um, put the link on here if you guys are interested in seeing uh, where to purchase it. But yeah, I give it a thumbs up. I mean, I really like my coffee, and these did work. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.